Cause I gotta have faith. The views and comments expressed on the following radio program by its hosts and their guests do not necessarily reflect the views of rmconair.com or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. Thank you for tuning in to the That's What's Up radio show. This is Jornado alongside my brethren from another mother. I can't hear nothing in the headphones. How y'all doing, yo? It's Friday, man. Sarge. It's Friday. We in the building. L.A. Keys. We got Jordan in the building. That's right. Uh -huh. There you go. Oh, oh what's that? Go. Technology. Hey, Technology at its best. Look. The That's What's Up radio show coming live from Hollywood, L.A. at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Right. Y'all see me, I'm looking. Shout out to Marilyn Monroe, right? I'm Mr. Beverly Hills, a.k.a. G. And we That's got right. the beautiful L.A. Keys over here, always yeah, sexy. Y'all give her a hand. Wait, come on, y'all. Give them a hand. We got Thank a special guest, our homegirl representing we have a few. Venice Beach. Yeah. We got Miss Jordan in the building. Shout out to Jordan. Utah MJ in the building. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. G, we got oh, some man. topics, man. Oh, you know, I'm already on the wire. All I'm going to say is this. NFL is the NFL is juicy. I got my homeboy, Ray Dirty Rice, Yeah, is calling in. Y'all heard of what I said, Dirty Rice, right? Dirty Rice. All right, Dirty Rice. We're gonna That's talk from about, the South type Dirty no, Rice. No, this ain't... With yeah. jeans in it or... No. Well, we're going to talk about putting somebody down South, like land in an elevator, but we ain't talking about like eating food. Hey, oh, shit. Wow. You know what? Where my boy Peanuts at? Right there, boy well, we want to give a shout out to Roscoe's Media Center for allowing us to do the... Stop yep. the... Uh, what is it? Look at man, hold it. Look. Hey, go take a break. So hey, things. this is the That's What's Up radio show. Shout out to Pitbull Energy Drink. I just want to make sure they chicken knew. and waffles. Look, we got to keep it moving. Go we got a full keep show us on social media. We appreciate your support each week, and we thank all of our listeners that's out there. I'm gonna make sure I do give it a call in number because we. Don't usually do it in the beginning of the show, but we've been having a lot of calls, and we want to make sure that we're able to take your calls as we're going through current uh, man, call topics in, man. of discussions and things like you ain't that. So it's three two three nine six five one six zero zero. That's three two three nine six five one six eight zero zero. L A Keys. Let's just get into the show, man. We got it. We just yeah, got, we got a good B show. B Mac Rob coming. B Mac too. Big B Mac Rob, man. Shout out to him and these guys doing big things like the yeah. BT Experience. So they're gonna talk a little bit about the entertainment industry. We're gonna talk about these suckers out here not doing the right thing in the music industry. How to That's break so in, what you gotta do, how hard it is. You know, ISIS is still uh, a militant ISIS. group to to deal with, you know, because again, <sighs> ISIS, man. You know what what we're doing. We're doing so many things, and, and you know, violence has been really taking over. What about you know? ISIS, man? Look, this I is mean, what I'm gonna say. We gotta stop this stuff. I we mean, even before we get into look, the, the rice issue in the NFL, listen, I man. mean, Jordan, I'm gonna say this. ISIS, right? Listen, you cannot just destroy this. This is a militant group made up of different people. It's not like they're just standing out in this one big field and then there we can go kill them. Look, this is going to take some time to eradicate this thing. And the president understands that. But And they're, and so, look, this is a long and term... I, and I think the country is coming to an understanding that... You the know, country, look, the country is in turmoil, here. man. They're Everybody's crazy. I mean, it's, it's it, we're already having a lot of wars. Listen. From the community standpoint to the corporate standpoint to, I mean, just all over. Wars and rumors of wars. Ain't no rumors. Ain't no rumors. We actually having war, but back to ISIS and as a former, you know, military sergeant who is, you know, retired and done my time and went to combat. I'll say this. Okay, so look, this is a long term solution. You can't just do it by airstrikes. You got to put boots on the grounds. But I'm saying. saying this. Wait as a, a minute. As no, a we, former. We listen, no, no. Ain't no technology. Drones, listen. Drones. We have space okay. technology to just zoom in. That element listen to what i'm talking about the enemy element it's not like back in the day when you had the red coats and the blue coats and you can easily identify the enemy today's warfare is totally different right it's coming so from the so what they got to do listen to what i'm 
I'm saying? So what they have to do is this is a planned attack. It takes many levels. You heard the rap song, many levels. It's many levels. To do this. So what I'm saying is airstrikes alone is not like they can just drop bombs and kill them all in a bunker if they're having a meeting. They're going to have to infiltrate. It's going to take spies. It's going to take a lot of things because these people are spread out all over the world. But I'll say this, America, don't worry about it. Because if anybody attacks America, you better believe these good old boys are going to drop that damn bomb. So don't even worry. That about is. It. What's up? And, Joel, uh, what you think about ISIS? You what you think that. about ISIS? I think they're terrifying. Oh, you need to come closer to the mic. Come close. You think they're terrifying? There she goes. Yeah, there you go. That's Jordan. Get in there. What about ISIS, Jordan? And this is Jordan from Utah. She's like, she's Utah. conservative. She's conservative with a hip hop legends rap shirt on. Show me your shirt. Where's your shirt? Yeah, Jordan? I saw that when I saw it. She I likes. Oh, look at that, Jordan. Uh oh. So look. Show me the give love. us your opinion on ISIS. Not well enough first in international relations, but I do know they're scary. We they're gotta do scary. something. We gotta do something. Oh, okay. So that's the the fear. You're, you know you're what? thinking that they're instilling fear in people. It's past Absolutely. fear. Absolutely. It's. I mean. <laughs> They're doing it, not instilling fear. But I mean, they, they've been cutting heads off and shooting people. But I'll say this, years. listen. I mean, for, the, for, for, forever. Well, that was, what, that was what shot up American support of going in there in general, right? Like, nobody was about it. Everybody was right. like, okay, we're going to stay out of it. And then all of a sudden, they start beheading Americans right. on, and filming it and putting it on the internet. And right. then your approval rating to go in there ourselves shot up to, what, 65% last I checked yeah. right. yesterday. Wow. So look, I, and and with that being said, hold on, I'm moving around. I, I, I do know one phone. thing. I I can say this. What you know from from the beheadings and so forth. I mean, to see that in this day and time with the technology that we have, because I mean that's a cyber war, a psychological warfare is what they're doing, and that put that fear out there that okay, we we must do something, and people are even scared. I mean, just with 9/11 anniversary that we just you know passed on thursday you know that woke us up even to you know new secure security levels that that changed the way you know society hey. is here 9-11 was planned by four guys let, in an apartment this is me, an entire establishment hey, this is scarier than 9-11 i, I want to i want to let me say this okay so like she's scared this, no this, but this, real, this is the truth about it okay understand something that we're talking about hate okay and so ISIS and all of these rat, quote unquote radical groups that they call radical because they don't necessarily believe in Christian values. But understand this, y'all. This is bigger than us. This is bigger than just hate. Listen, 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 listen to what I'm saying. Individuals in their own countries, I believe as a soldier, someone who's fought in combat, have a right to believe and do what they want. And we as America don't have the right to push Christianity or democracy on anyone. So listen to what I'm saying. The Western culture has had a history of going into every other country and pushing our rights, whether it's Christianity or anything. And I'm saying this, the hatred that groups like ISIS and all these other groups have is not really towards Americans. You know who it's towards? It's towards but 1% of the wealthy people that they know that are doing but what happens is this if you can't get to the top then you can start chopping down everyone and listen y'all one head or two head listen I'm not trying listen I'm a soldier one or two heads getting chopped off don't equal up to the five and six thousand soldiers at least we all forget all the people who all the soldiers who have died quote unquote for freedom so we can go to damn Starbucks and drink coffee and walk around on the beach and act like we're doing this while some of my buddies and our friends that we know and young people are catching hell so I'm saying this really these wars are fought between rich people Man. and these people over in the country are saying leave <laughs> listen I'm going like to just that. say this don't, don't no tell listen, it to it listen don't I, this is what it. war is to, war know. is war is this war is this listen War is started by old men so that young men can die. It's a bunch of rich, wealthy people, all right, sitting around in their homes okay. that are well connected in the oil industry on levels that we could ever imagine. We're talking about people sitting around with 60 and 70 billion dollars, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And what they're saying is this, how can we control and manipulate? And I'm saying this as a soldier who shed blood, who's fought on the battlefield, I'm saying this. It's time that America starts focusing on interior and uh, we got to call real, and uh, focus on interior right. and stop worrying about everyone else because, to the line. hey, Open up Hold, the no, air. listen. Between Ferguson, like I'm, I'm look. I'm adamant about this because between Ferguson, Somebody Missouri, wants to chime in on this song. let them come in. I'm saying this, man. I'm saying America needs to start focusing on home because we got enough problems right now at home to where we need to, and we need to let the world do what they do. As a matter of fact, America, the rich, the powerful, y'all need to stop being nosy. You know what? We we gonna say this too because I'm gonna make sure. And let's, let's move just, on, man. Let's, let's move Wednesday, on, man. I am because it's it's all about family love. 
you know, in, in Crystal, Crystal Wales that has the, the Women's Wednesday show on, you know, Roscoe Media Center right. at the radio station here. Uh, she has a family love festival okay. that's, you know, that's going to be coming up. So I want to make sure that I do, you know, mention that. And you can also go to the uh, website and get more information uh, at the rmconair.com. For sure. Okay. So look. Now there's also I want to also mention at the there she's partnering up. There's some things that's going on uh, September the 20th, and it's like men and men conference. Basically, what this is gifted people in action Inc. They're putting on something <coughs> men to men. That's what it is. It's a men to men in Los Angeles Convention Center we need more September men. the 20th, mm -hmm. and this is something that will help build. You know, their motto is we are will able to take the land right we are well able to take the land and that's numbers 13 20 that's some motivational look, tip I'm, look again i applaud crystal i applaud crystal with everyone but listen man now listen everybody listening under the sound of my voice i'm being very serious right now we are in a state of emergency in this world not just in america you think we're gonna get to martial law listen no we're not talking about martial law what we're talking about now man i'm gonna be honest is we're talking let me take off my glasses we're talking about people actually taking action stop sitting around talking about the problem and start doing something about it see one thing about people if you notice aren't we great at meetings we can get you know what we get together to meet don't well, we can know, meet we, to meet to meet now, i'm not talking about this i'm just saying in yeah, general you know i'm finna piggyback and say i mean these okay. people moving no no i'm not see, doing see, things listen, i want listen people to, what I'm to saying. know out there in listen, this community I, hey, where we are that hey where are we some things where are we that men to men can come together and learn how to take the land back because there are specific what? Now, let areas me here. Let me, what there land? specific areas what here that land? they call death row. What land? You know, where what you land? live at. Okay. Where you are your in your community. community you okay. know? Start the grassroots effort starts right when you right in your, your dwelling space. Because the grassroots effort starts with each end of this is my opinion. Right, right? where you are. It, no, the right grassroots effort are. starts with you, the person, making a mental choice that you know what? I'm gonna stand up and do something. And I'm saying this, we don't have enough leaders. We got a bunch of people faking like leaders and sitting around talking about what they're doing. But how many people are out there really taking action from Ferguson, Missouri to all these issues that yeah, we're having in this a, world? Listen, no, it's not it's no bigger than Trayvon Martin, it's no bigger than Jordan Davis, it's no bigger than the white guy well, Kelly. You know, Kelly Someone up. White Each guy time Kelly Martin who got killed in the else up. No, but like, oh, listen, we're really? very this emotional. Listen to what I'm saying, man. We're a very emotional society, and y'all can chime in on this. You don't let me be the antagonist. Hey, today. It, you are. It's three two three nine six five one six zero zero. I'm saying this, man. That's okay. the calling in number. We and both been in the front line. Radio. Yeah, you from know, Florida, from Florida, from Florida all the way so listen. No, Brad, listen to what I'm saying. I'm a fitness guy. Talking about working out and getting in shape and losing weight. I want to get in shape. I want to lose weight. Talking is good, right? The only way for it to happen is to do what? You got to make some you got, So listen, I'm going to say you this. Know that. Hey, as a black man, our black leaders from Al Sharpton to Jesse Jackson, them, it's time for y'all to move out the way. It's people like me, Sarge, who are going to step up and take action and really do it. Cool educational standpoint okay what so what i'm yeah, saying is i'm tired i'm tired of just meetings and sitting around and talking because we're catching hell right now where they sitting around meeting and then they go to sit at roof chris and they flying on private jets and they stand in our hotels and they come out and they say their little speech and they go to churches and they collect their money and then they go back home and we catching hell and i'm saying this from black to white to everybody we need to cut it out from the middle east yeah. to the east coast we need to cut it out man let's talk about ray rice you know, man. we, we got to go on a break or something yeah, All right, we gotta we go. Jordan just break. over there, like, oh my hey, god. This is, that's what's up, radio that's what's show. Up radio show. I'm Sarge, and guess what? Um, Stop the violence and use your challenge. I'm, I'm, I'm pissed off like two mice in a wool we, sock. We, we really, we I'm really gotta thing. have some some more <laughs> events. Where we're what does that even mean? Kids. What two mice and that's some. I'm more pissed He's off than two mice like, oh. fighting in a wool, wool sock right there. That's some country. Hey, y'all, shout out to everybody in Jacksonville, Florida, uh, Houston, Texas, Hollywood, California, Venice Beach, Utah. All <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, we got a little L Shout out to LA Keys. She, like, she nah, dropped uh, the camera. Shout out to LA Keys. Oh, shout out to some, some, you hey, guys are Oh, so nobody weird. saw that? And oh, shout okay. out to everyone at uh, Fresh Let Gallery, her my right fashion now. gallery out in Florida, man, doing big things. We'll be back. Look, we got to go to a break. for a reason. Just let her stay there. No, but no, she's a I'm just hyped up over here. I'm not hyped up. I'm just saying. I got my.
I go, wonder how that happened. I got my skulls on. I'm saying this, y'all. I got my Marilyn Monroe, and I'm saying this. I'm just, am I the only one that's tired of the BS? No, of course not. Okay, thank you. Am I the only one that's tired of our quote unquote leaders meeting and not doing nothing? I'm saying this, y'all. America's a very emotional place. From 9 11 to every significant Stop. emotional. Oh, okay, we gotta, we gotta go break. take a break. She oh. said, I'm broke. Just like she my ATM broke. receipt. Hold on, oh, what my man. ATM receipt? We gotta do something about that. I got this money magazine right here. I need some. Are we going fin- to a break? I need some financial help, man. You know what I'm saying? Love ya. Okay, we're back on the That's What's Up radio show. This is Gennaro, alongside Sarge. brother from another mother. Hey, I'm on the phone right now. Yeah, he ain't, see, he on the radio <laughs> and he on the phone. Get your priorities straight. Same time. Time. Get yourself together. Get yourself together. But this is the this is the beautiful thing about live radio. You can watch and see really what goes on. And guess what? I got a face for radio. Hey, lady. <laughs> and he got I the got cord. a face for radio. So look. We, let's talk about your boy, man. I wonder who was riding out because Ella Keys just had a discussion right now. That there. was who, my who was rapping to that beat. That was the same hey, play that song right there. Hold on, y'all. Here we go. Play that other. Come on, you Ella. know artists oh, do that oh, all oh, the oh. time. I bet you somebody was out there. Call me. It's a new flame. Hey, Chris, <laughs> you could be my baby. Oh, lady. Oh, give it to him too, Ross. Hey, hey, it's a new <laughs> move out of the way. Hey, okay. I'm finna oh, find my barbecue wow. and get a new wow. flame. Look at that backward. Look at that backward. Look at that backward. Bam. Okay, all right, y'all. Okay, yeah. Thank y'all. Shout out to Chris Brown, man. Thug Chris Brown. Okay. All right. Oh, okay, so since while we talking about wife beaters, I'm sorry. I'm talking. No, don't say. I'm that. talking about the don't shirt. Talk about the, the shirt. Beater. Oh, the shirt. Okay. My boy, Dirty Ray. Nice. Ray. I thought you said he was calling in. Well, right now he tied up with TMZ. Um, but uh. TMZ really got him, didn't they? But TMZ, good no, thing. No, he is got this, him. Is this back to inequality? I mean, like, no, this is look, this okay. So this unequal. Hey, y'all, if don't what? nobody know, we got two ladies in here. Boy, Ray Dirty know, is Rice. Justice unequal, or is this ain't got nothing to do. I'm gonna just 
put this out, then I'm gonna be quiet. Cause Jordan, like, well, you know, I don't want any confrontation. So was that? Right. That is absolutely I know not Jordan. what I said. That that was was no lie, circumstances. <laughs> is that what I said? Under no I circumstances. Just lied. I think they both lost on this deal. Listen, they both lost. no, they didn't lose. I think they America, no, America is losing because for one. Domestic violence is nothing new, correct, y'all? And let's just keep it let's keep it real. I'm gonna set the stage. Domestic violence is nothing new. And the fact of the matter, just like Whoopi Goldberg kind of took some heat, but she said this. At the end of the day, nobody should put hands on anyone. Right. But ladies, listen, but ladies, so true. don't expect that if you put your hands on a man that nowadays chivalry is almost dead. Don't expect that nowadays <laughs> that a man is not going to put their hands on you because you don't whoa, know. Whoa, whoa, no, whoa, no, listen whoa, to what I'm saying. Whoa, whoa, no, whoa, whoa, woman, whoa, if you whoa, put whoa. your hands, listen, if you put your hands, if you hit a man, woman, listen, women, I'm saying this. If you put hit a man, ladies, don't expect that every man is not going to hit you back because every man Something wasn't be raised a, a like that. Some men have been abused. Some men have went That's through true. a lot and a lot of so people attack. men have got their ass kicked to, too. Yeah, boy, I'm right. talking about, yeah, hey, I got an ex-girlfriend. I, I got an ex-girlfriend. I'm not saying you're wrong, but you're not right. Ass. Some right. men have got kicked right. by So what y'all saying? The bottom line, I'm saying this. Nobody should put hands on nobody and ladies no, don't expect that I agree. You're not going to give, you're not going to give me disagreeing with you on that point, but if what you're saying is that because, you know, she, you know, gave him that tap in the hallway and then what it's contested she spit in his face or she what like she's not got the same fists as he does she, maybe she could and have said something like, we, we don't you know were, you were you were you were real opinionated on like international terrorism this right. is domestic terrorism like this is there are people living in fear mm -hmm. right. every day of their lives because of this and so i understand you're like well you know don't take a swing because then don't expect him not to like I'm sorry, but it's a more systemic problem than that. Like that is that is to sweep something under the rug that I don't think you should ever sweep. Under so the what rug. do you mean sweeping under the rug? I'm saying this in I your in your relationship. Problems. Listen, in your relationship at home, right? You get in an argument with your spouse. The lady might get on his face. You know how to. And again, I'm not saying provoking is this. Uh, oh, I'm a I, you, look, look, y'all see the camera. I'm a yeah, bush. You can't, yeah, you can't yeah, do that. Right? Yeah. And you I'm, pushing I'm, a man. I'm feeling right? some kind of way right now. I'm about to say, bro, please don't. Do so that. So what I'm saying you is know? this: there's no tolerance for it. But I'm saying exactly. This. I'm saying this: it's their personal relationship, right? And I feel like this: if they can work that out and fix that, then I'm saying fine. Now, what is the big issue? Why is it such blown out of proportion? Because he's a wealthy person in the line. No, he, because he knocked his fiance out in an but elevator. What, no, no, what no, no, about? No, she, okay, he didn't. I don't think he knocked her out. I think. She, well, he she, knocked. Oh, whoa, hold on. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He knocked her out. He knocked her out. Is that what he knocked her out? You really look closely <laughs> at the video. She hit the. You're gonna blame the handrail. You're gonna blame the handrail. Okay. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. He hit the wall. That's she that's what you're going with. She hey. fell into it. Okay. Oh, you know what? she okay. fell into okay. it. She, yeah, she, she just she just fell. She just she, yeah. she her sassy ass just him. fell right into right. his face. Did that's what happened. Video? She we fell need right into his face. Need sound that's what women yeah. tell yeah. emergency room doctors yeah, every I, I day. Fell. They are there forced to tell emergency room doctors that every day because of that particular attitude. So why do women stay with men? So let's talk about this. Because it's men that say. Oh, she! I didn't hit her. She fell into my fist. She fell into the wall. She yeah. fell. She did. She, she, she. And then if you read and then they make her she go turn around and feel like it was her ladies. fault that exactly. she got hit or that she is. That's she why the Baltimore Ravens released that like tweet that, that they pulled back on. What, they released what, what, a tweet on behalf of Janae Rice where they said, and after the video, they deleted it, but it said something along the lines of, Janae Rice wants to express that she's really sorry for the part that she played in the Ray Rice incident. Well, listen, what if it was just they, listen, she listen, issued an what if apology. It, I think what if it was just a domestic it's, it's, a relationship ignoring, problem? You're ignoring the systemic marginalization of like women in violence. Well, say that scenarios. again. We like, got hold on. We got a lot of I people like that. that graduate. Y'all back exactly. up. Facebook Let's, people. Say that again, Jordan. Let's, say that word. Say that. Break it's a that what? down into all terms. It's institutionalized, and you're there ignoring you go. that. We know that black oh, wow. people know institutionalized. Exactly, which is the reason I'm wondering why it is that we're standing here, me a white woman and you a black man, and I have to tell you about institutionalized. How can you Ooh. ignore it here? Does that wow. make sense? Oh, shit. Like, go it ahead, is, girl. It is institutionalized go violence, her. domestic okay, terrorism. Okay, is it deeper than institutionalized, though? Because wow. I mean, that could be like going all the way back to the Jim Crow syndrome being but this, and farther than even that, to slavery, to, to, I mean, you can even go in biblical time for that. I but mean, but it, my it, question it, is this, ladies. Let me ask you this, ladies. If you hit a man, if you strike a man, if you strike a that. man, do you expect a man 
to not hit you back if you strike him. Some Why coaches, is a woman hitting on a man to begin my, with? That, that's what so I'm saying. I'm saying what is going on here? Is she hitting him in defense? Is she hitting no. him because... Okay, listen. An argument. Where, where you I think from? if they were Lebanese, if they were Lebanese, listen, they wouldn't be on listen, TV and he'll still listen. be playing. Okay, so let's back up. And I'm going to talk about Jay-Z real quick. Cause so, so let's back up. You have yeah, an argument at Jay-Z home. Jay-Z apology right? too. You have an argument at home. And the argument is getting heated, and the man is like, you know what? I know if I put my hands on, especially like in Florida, somebody's got to go to jail, right? Yeah. If the police come. And he's restraining, he's restraining. You know, and again, the, the woman is all in his face, pushing him in the head. Yeah, you know, yeah. again, sometimes women can get it. I'm, I'm not, not saying that I'm, I'm they're saying always, saying always doing right. right. A woman expects right. a man not to. Do you expect a man not to hit you back? I don't hit men. Okay, thank right. you. So I'm saying but men and women. women however, do, here's 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 the other part your family. Well, what about your verbal abuse? You keep treating be, it. You keep verbal. treating. It could be Stop. verbal. That's no, hitting that, too. No, we talking about physical. Uh, like, I mean, but you're right. You're right. Abuse. Right. Abuse. What are you talking about? Wait, what I'm saying. You, I have a question. Hey, baby, your ass. Are you look guys good. defending? No, Ray no, Rice, no, or are no, you guys I'm not trying defending. to? I'm just trying to break it down. I have not heard you guys say one thing about you guys keep. Twisting this on women, say, well, if I women did, well, if, if it's, women did, no, if women, if women did, no, 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 she hit him me. first. She we're, hit him first. She that's hit, what no. she's saying. We're just taking what the, we're taking. We, I'm not making up anything. We're looking at the facts, and, and y'all just said she said okay. that she played a part, and I'm saying okay, she okay. said that she played a part. Okay, she said that I provoked. But that him. comes from first, guilt. That comes from guilt. And if I'm sorry, but like, look at how cold he is on that tape after he does it. He gives her a little kick to like put well, her legs together when she's it holding like the gonna, elevator what do you door do? open. What do you do after you knock your wife out in the elevator, okay. put a box what? of chocolates on her forehead, drag, you know what I'm saying? You drag. What do you, you do? You, you're I not even. Now it listen, let happen. me say this. Y'all see now, I'm see. Shout out to Jay Z. No, I see y'all didn't no, let me no, get no, this. No, 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 he no, made a choice. He could have hit her. He could have hit her. He could have hit her. You're a mountain. He could have hit her, but he didn't. No, I'm saying he did not hit her. He did not hit her. I have a question. And Ray Rice hit his wife. I have a question. So shout out to Jay Z. Give Jay Z a pimp slap. Can we give a clap to Jay Z? Somebody else's turn to talk. Damn. No. Pimp slap. That's what he did. I just, I just want to ask this question. Are you a mounting? I mean, are you are you are you putting these together? Y'all coming with some are big there, words? Are they equal? Because I'm over here. No, I'm saying. Are no. Are you equating Being, the two incidents? What Seriously. I'm saying is this: you. there is are, a are there. No, I'm the saying this. That, that Ray Rice hit his his wife in an elevator, I'm and she was, was not wrong. unconscious. Uh-huh. Hello, not unconscious on the floor, and to, he showed no remorse. He showed no emotion. He showed no remorse. Hold. to Solange hitting Beyonce's husband. In defense of her sister? Right, is that what no, you're what I'm saying Is it the same thing? L- listen, is it the same thing? I'm talking about the Hit it directly. No, it's Don't not. dance around it. I'm finna say this. You on your own. Shot, now, listen, so shout out to Jay Z because here we go. We have two incidents with two wealthy black males with two women who say who clearly we see that men. This sounds like you equating these incidents. No, I'm not. I'm right. saying Jay Z did the right thing and we see that Jay-Z some men did the right thing yes. in a similar scenario, which That's is what you I'm equating saying. the incidents. No, so let's I'm not again, don't spit on me and tell me it's raining. Right. You know what? What is she? You know what? She said, "Don't spit on me." Get, and tell give me, me a clap. Get Joy in the clap. We're gonna get her a black card. Go, said. hey, go Don't in the car. Hey, me. go out there, and <laughs> go out there in the Mercedes and go get her a black card. Uh, we got a stack of black cards out here. <laughs> yeah. She gonna eat at Roscoe's. She gonna get pl- black card plus. That's right. Black card plus. She get plus. Jordan, you're good, girl. She gotta work her way up to the plus card. I'm you still haven't hit it though. No, I'm you saying. You still haven't addressed how no, cold and calculated he was after he knocked his fiance out and dragged her unconscious halfway out of the elevator, kicked her in one of her legs so that her legs would be a little bit less open, grabbed her flip flop, bumped her again, and then have, have you seen the one with the audio? I don't think they've released it, but they've released the text of the audio. Yeah, it looked kind of look kind of foul. He didn't say bad. anything. I'm bad. saying this. Panic. Jay Z, Jay Z did the right thing, and you Ray quit Rice. saying Jay Z okay. because these are not That's the same thing. thing. No, but it's no, it's what I'm saying. Listen to co- the yeah, correlation. I appreciate your apology no, of Jay Z. The correlation yeah. doesn't fit does. because we have institutionalized now, domestic this. terrorism. It is not the same thing. What if it is not within a loving relationship. It is not the person you sleep next to every night. It is not the person you love. It is not the 
person you are like, vowing to spend the rest of your life with is right? not the same thing. Just listen he's to not the listening. One talking, right? He's not listening. Say it again. I'm listening. listening. I'm he listening. Don't listen when he'd they rather make a talk point. than listen. Right. Because wow. You, you want to leave out of here right way. I'm going. I'm straight. I'm already. I, I I'm already sure in the doghouse. All right. <laughs> um, you know, Jordan. We gonna get ready. Say to what take you just a said again. Quick break, and Sarge so gonna answer this. Nah, question. y'all beating up on me because cro- croissant yes. lips didn't. If he would have slapped Solange, we'd have been talking about both them Negroes. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. It Jay-Z, still wouldn't have been the same. One, one for once, besides screwing, very different. For once, be besides screwing, Jay Z punching Solange would not have been the same. No, it, it would have. Two rich black it men stopped. in an elevator with two women in their face, and Jay Z did the right thing. God bless America. You misunderstand this entire situation. Right. What does black have to do with anything anyway? Because if that's the case, why we? Why is Ray Rice so? Why are we Ray. blowing this up? Because it's a wealthy young black man, and and that's it in the spot. Like it ain't enough. It ain't enough wealthy young black man out there, so they get get picked on. Just like Tiger Woods. So for instance, Tiger Woods got caught oh cheating God. on his wife. They so ruined his career. This crap. Listen, Knock no, it. David oh, Letterman. That's, that's not racist. It's the truth. He's talking about black men. I mean, what does that have to do with a man okay, and so a woman? Ray Rice is what. Okay. Take, take another running back. Ben take another running back. Ben Roethlisberger. Ben Roethlisberger. Take another running back. What he's saying is. Ben Roethlisberger. Give me a starting it's white male ben quarterback in the NFL. I got off on the get singled but, out. That's what he's saying. Wait, no, he, change his race out. and give me the they same video. Kobe Bryant. Okay. They change Co- his race. I did. Ben Roethlisberger. No, they fucking minimized the shit with Kobe okay, Bryant. We gonna no, take ben Roethlisberger raped them, break, that girl so in the bathroom in Georgia. And they they dropped that shit like Nelly's first song dropping like that. Nelly for you know what? We going to break. Boy, shut up. That's what's up, radio. Give me five, Jordan. Where the show the camera? Give me five, Jordan. Give me five. When you earn it, I will. Wow. I'll give you three. This is- Trashman didn't get my trash today.
go, man. We back, y'all. Hey. People make the world go round. Everybody out there, man. You hear me, Sarge? Shout out. People make the world go round. You're right. And uh, we y'all... had to take that little brief moment mm-hmm. to get it right. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Because you owe these people an apology, boy. It's a lot of lost ones out there right now. I'll say this. <laughs> okay, it's a lot of lost ones hey, out y'all. there right now. <laughs> you, you, you know, let me we got let me a lot say this. Listening. We we in Hollywood, you know that. and and you know what? People shouldn't take things personal. And we are in Hollywood, and this is a radio show. And I am Sarge, and I'm saying this, y'all. He's if very I, controversial. If, if okay. I offended anyone out there, then I apologize. Okay, so what I'm finna do right now is, and shout out to my, you know. Shout out to my daughters and all my female friends That's and all my. Did I say daughters? So shout out to all. Ch- shout out to all twelve of my daughters. Um, and uh, I just want to say, babies. you know what? I want to say and, and shout out to both of my and baby. Four, it's not mine. Shout out. <laughs> shout out to both of my baby okay. daddies. But y'all go ahead, y'all. Sarge, yeah, they, they, they go ahead. Jo- Jordan, them. what you got to say? Jordan's hot over here. What you got to say, Jordan? Yeah, hot. I'm I just good. need you Dang. to stop sidestepping and acknowledge the fact that. If Jay Z were to have punched Solange, it would not be the same thing as Ray Rice punching his fiance, because that's what it takes for you to understand the institutionalized domestic terrorism. Oh, he's trying not to listen. Is, yeah, I guess. It, story. I do. <laughs> Tell me that. I believe you. He's always trying not to listen. Listen. Okay. Wow. I just need you to acknowledge that they are not the same thing because one of them is the person you go to sleep next to every night. The person yeah. that you have agreed to spend your life with, the person who is supposed to be there to love and support and protect you. Hmm. That's right, that confidence. Right. You know? And they got they need that confidence. Right. So are you still saying they're the oh, same? Oh, they thing? are married now. They was boyfriend and girlfriends then, but they married they were, now. She was me, fiance you know at saying? the time, now they're married. Yeah. Let me and say that's this. That's a good thing. That's love. I, and that's love now. Let me stand correct. Let me correct. LA Keys, you wanna chime in? Cause After you answer her question. Ask the girl a question, Sarge. Well, let me try to clear this up, y'all, out there. And shout out to everybody you are out there. Sarah paling hey. the living daylights out of this question. Um, hold on, hold on. <laughs> let me do my LL Cool J. Which she on, was in the Hold on, LL Cool J. She was in the news late. I was going to say, speaking of which, um, she just got in a fist fight. Yeah. <laughs> what I was saying is this. No, no, Jay-Z and Ray Rice are not the same people, okay? And and this is my opinion again. In actuality, it's like this. The principle is the same, but yet, Jay-Z, I believe in that situation. What is that principle? The principle is this. Right, thank you. Two women, right? Get down for Okay, me. two women and two men in the elevator. Forget who they are. Two men and two women in the elevator have... You can't forget who they are. Okay. Or else you're falling right. into the same okay, trap so, that we got mad okay, that you fell so, into a minute but, ago. But again, what does it matter? That My point was, what does it yeah, matter who go, they are? Let's not go back down okay. that road. Just so I'm saying this. Quick. Two men, two women, right? We clearly see, and his wife admitted, that regardless of what he did, she was like, I aggravated and I egged him on and I apologize. Mm-hmm. We clearly see, and listen, listen, worst. no, listen, we're talking about what happened. I'm not making up any I'm scenario. I'm sorry, I was wrong, but actually, let me tell you how I was right. Okay. No, that's what he's saying. No, I'm, I'm categorizing I'm, I'm the words out of Sarge's mouth is right now. It's like, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I was wrong. I apologize to all you guys that I offended. I acknowledge that I was quiet. wrong, but I'm now let me up. go back and I'm tell you how I was right. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> okay, you just contradicting order, yourself order, left, order, right, and yeah. center. Keep it right there. All right, I'm being keep it right. Keys, you got to say something. This whole courtroom's out of order. You know what? You know what's most important, though? It's shout out to all the women out the there, people man. people are going around. Is the, people make the I can give a shout out to them. Listen you can't right now. You're not on their good yeah, side. I, I didn't do nothing. You're in every woman's doghouse that is listening this is to a, this program right now. This is a radio <laughs> show. I have to bring up those points. I mean, You're okay, in the universal look, doghouse. Look, CNN, Fox News, if everybody agreed, Absolutely. we wouldn't have a show. Somebody's got to come with some type of... It is, it, it, look, I was a, a rape awareness and domestic violence educator. Real talk. Which is all exactly I'm saying why you should know those are not the same thing. I'm not saying it's the same thing. I'm saying I'm saying this. If Jay-Z would Better. Look, if Jay Z would have hit Solange, it would be bigger than Ray Rice hitting his wife. What? That may be true. You're, you know what? That may be true. That now. may be true. But no, 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 no. no. Maybe. Listen, 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 listen. My turn. Hey, my turn. Surfboard. Now they surfing. Surfboard. Surfboard. You said maybe, and I think that you're right because. It might be true that people would make a bigger deal out of it if Jay Z did it, and that just underscores the problem. That underscores the extent to which we don't pay enough attention to domestic What's violence the in this country. You're right. So right. it there might it be a bigger right story, but the fact that it's a bigger story just serves to prove my point, you which know is what? right. That it is an in, it is institutionalized no. domestic terrorism. It is not okay, and equating situations just like you did contributes to the problem. Can I say this up for wow. Sarge? Though let me, let me clear this. This is a radio show. He, Hold what on. He's saying please is help this. him out. Please do that. So okay. we need you. At Make the, him put at the, the end of the <laughs> day, at the end of the day, they're being singled out. 
as black African American males, the elephant that, in the room, that are the elephant in the room, that are the successful. And this things like this Elephant happen every room. day and do not wow. get that much publicity. Now, right. Okay. Yeah. Let me give you an example. Y'all don't. That accounts for the publicity. Let me tell you what There's just a happened. Explanation for you. Let me tell you what just happened. You know? There was an oh, MMA God. fighter, a white well, MMA leaders. fighter. They're listen, leaders. Listen, a white you MMA fighter. The War Machine. Google him. War Machine you know in his Vegas. Name? Yeah, the War Machine. But that's not his name. No, but listen you know to what I'm saying. What he did. Let me tell you what he did. No, people know who this fighter is. Okay. So let me ask you this: Ray Rice versus Joe the Plumber, who lives in 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 BF Mississippi, punched his wife in the trailer park, and Ray Rice knocked his wife out in the elevator. Ray Rice gets the gets the the torture treatment. Joe Plumber in we gotta beat Mike BF to Mississippi we gotta move on. goes to jail, bails out, goes back home, and him and his wife move forward. I mean, You've not made that's any, the point. Any new points. Well, no, no, I'm not saying. I'm not trying to make a person, point. Just a basic person, person that's with, doing something. Yeah, versus, it wouldn't even matter. You know, a, a person of stature, but they are leaders, you know. And as being a leader, we have you to have be, be role accountable. Models. You have to be give me a fact. Can we get a clap on you know that? Saying? You're right. So that's that's, that's where he's going. That's and, all. You know, Jordan. Just to make obviously, a point. Jordan. Obviously, you know who the war machine is, and you know what he did, right? You know that the war machine, and y'all Google this, the MMA fighter, just write, just Google MMA fighter war machine girlfriend. Don't y'all know in Vegas just recently, y'all know what he did. He broke into the apartment, bashed, he beat his girlfriend and, and her boyfriend so okay. bad. Listen, he beat, he they, they can't even reconstruct her face how bad he beat her in. I don't hear nobody talking about oh bring down MMA. Give me the relevance. I don't hear people wow. saying bring down the MMA well, and they are. they supporting the vi- they supporting the climate of violence against women and the war machine was wrong. But look at look at Ray Rice. Look 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 at Tiger Woods for instance. Okay, listen and I'm gonna give you an example. David Letterman cheated on his wife, joked about it on TV and got away. Tiger Woods cheated on his wife and they ruined this man. And he's saying it's because of his skin color. And I'm saying it's wrong. And it's very. But now wrong. listen. That's the Alicia Keys. That look, deal. Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys, Alicia Keys, look, Alicia Keys took Swiss Beats, cheated on him while he was married, took her husband. The tabloids didn't do nothing to her. So I'm saying sometimes it's got to do with a lot of privilege, who you are and what's going That's on. That's so true. And so I apologize to all, hey, be Rob in the bit. Hey, yeah, I apologize to all the ladies. Look, Jordan, I want to apologize if I offended y'all, but I'm saying this, man, the BS has just got to stop, right? Yeah, stop the violence and use your talents. You got to be Jordan useful. Ain't, Jordan ain't a grip. Put the camera on never Jordan. give in. All right, we got to go to break. Be useful and put never the Jordan, no, Put the camera on Jordan. Look at her face. Look at your face right there, Jordan. No, you you in the doghouse. You better believe that. This is a ra- You can't you be in the doghouse on the radio show. I don't think you get any more Splash Waterfalls. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Yeah. If I was on the Howard Stern show, y'all would be laughing. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go to break. We thank Roscoe Media Center for having us. Pitbull Energy and Drink. Pitbull Energy Drink. Shut up. LA Keys. Hey, stop the violence and use your talents again. I can't stress it enough. Hey. Okay? Be useful and never give in. We got a special guest, man. I seen this Be man. Mike the Rob BET Awards, the Slam Dunk Contest. Chris Brown, this dude know everybody. We're going to talk gonna about some, jobs, some entertainment. Things. Yeah, we're going right. to talk about making it happen in Hollywood. What it takes to make it in the world. Shout out People to Jordan. make the world go around. Shout out to Jordan. Yeah. Shout out to Esme. Shout out to D.Y. Shout out to everybody in Jacksonville, Florida, California, Dude, Hollywood. Oh. Hey, shout out to everyone. One that's going out to my fresh, the Fresh Art and Fashion Gallery in Jacksonville. Y'all stop by, man. We got some good stuff in there, straight from Cali to Duval. That's right. And I love everybody, especially Jordan. Smile, Jordan, for me, please. And stop by the uh, 99 yeah. Cent store. Show that. There you go. Oh, show that. Do that again. She just look. Yeah. She see see how she just swung at me. See. Oh, she said she's she's gonna get with you. All right. Yeah. Basically, <laughs> with, so, the, with the Tupac shirt on, with Biggie on the side. Hey, so we got the Don't man coming up. We got the man that makes easy. things. We got the man that makes things happen behind the scenes and in front of the scenes in L.A. Like y'all. All these artists that's really trying to make it big. Out Promotions. Here in Hollywood. This dude is all over yeah. L.A. Man, yeah. if you don't B-E-T, know this dude, doing everything. it big all over the world. If you don't know him, break. you ain't nobody. Break that thing like my ATM account. You heard? Okay, me? we working on that. We got the Money Magazine right here.
Hey, are you tired of those same old energy drinks with bad taste? Make a switch to Pitbull Energy Drink with a guaranteed no aftertaste. Pitbull offers more energy with ginseng and vitamins B6 and B12. With a ginger ale, lemon lime flavor, Pitbull meets the consumer's demand for better tasting and healthier energy products with a guaranteed no aftertaste. Make a switch to Pitbull Energy Drink. Pitbull offers more energy with ginseng and vitamins B6 and B12. With a ginger ale, lemon lime flavor, Pitbull meets the consumer's demand for better tasting and healthier energy products. For more information on Pitbull energy drinks, bars, and mixes, visit their website at hiphopbev.com. That's hiphopbev.com. Online orders available at hiphopbev.com. That's what we on. If we A&R's. All, if That's we all agree, let's show. talk about this. Hey, I'm sorry, y'all. Ray Rice, we moving forward. We got my man okay. B. Mike Rob in the building. That's Where we up. at? That's what's Shout up. Shout out to B. Mike Rob. That's what's up. Hey, so B. Mike Rob, man. That's we got a boy. lot yeah. of things going on. B. Mike Rob, I, I met you over at Venice Beach for a big event. We had you on the Stop the Violence TV show. We did a, a segment on you over there. But you got a lot of things that's going on. You got a studio over there over Hollywood, right there in Sunset. Sunset in I mean, uh-huh. Right where it's going down. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, yeah. That's, that's where it's up. So basically, you do some stuff with BET, I've heard. I, I've Most seen definitely. you out there at the experience and so forth. I mean, you, you have a brand, B. Yeah. Mike Rob, Most the whole definitely. brand. A Most lot of definitely. artists that you deal with. With, that's from an a and perspective yeah. to, you know, independent pr- perspective. But I know you can give us a lot of information on that. But I know you just put something in my ear about the uh, about the Female Hip Hop Honor Award. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, what that is. It's for a lot of the underground female that are in the hip hop era. They're right. pretty much uh, trying to, you know, stay in, stay in the movement. Mm-hmm. And what we try to do is we try to create award ceremonies for them. That's as, what's up. And to keep them out there, you know, to keep them so that the exposure is there for them. And we, we call in a lot of A-list artists yeah. to show the, a lot of the independent, you know, women, strong, People powerful like women. Yeah. We got the Brat. Uh, we got Oakland 357. That's wow. going to be honored. Charlie Baltimore. Charlie Baltimore, yeah, you man. know. Hey, B-Mike. What's up? But, yes, sir. You know, tell, before we, you know, I want you to tell people a little bit about, you know, who you are, your background. But, you know, just to chime in on the female thing. And we've been talking about females today. I'm just saying It's hard for females In this industry People don't realize From They might see The Nicki Minaj Or they might see Lil' Kim And all these certain people But it's really hard You know To make it it. But tell them about you Man I mean Well yeah yeah, What what I do is Normally I am I'm more so on the Uh artist development, teaching them how to become entrepreneurs, teaching them how to make money in the business, Mm -hmm. you know, as well as getting them exposure and creating opportunities and platforms for them to showcase their skills, you know. Um, Started about 10 years ago, you know, started a a facility, it was called UGMX, you know, and and it was all about building a team to be able to share your vision, you know, and and that's what we did. And and with that, what happened is it came about that I had a group called New Era, they got on BET, we had over 100 over a hundred thousand votes within the first uh probably about the first half an hour right. of the show big. so That's big. so and it was from the west coast and bet in the time is totally different on the east coast and the right, west coast right. so normally when it came on it was when it came on here in the west coast it was already off out there so the votes didn't really count yeah. wow oh really so, yeah, yeah so wow. what happened is that we that. Took them, I took a group around to all the schools out here in the Bay Area as well as the Los Angeles area as well as Las Vegas. And what we did is we said, we'll allow our group to perform if you just allow them to vote at 3 o'clock, which was 6 o'clock when it came on right, out right, there. Right, right, right. We're doing I mean? that same thing here. Like, we got yeah. a lot of people on the East Coast, and it's, it's what, yeah, 6.30? Yeah, they listen to it. It's exactly. It's three-hour difference. You know? Exactly. So it, it, it worked out. And, and I met a guy by the name of Pat Charles, which is, he was one of the uh, the writers, the senior writers for BET for the <laughs> Wild Out Wednesdays and Freestyle Friday. So, yeah, Wild uh, Out with that, yeah, Freestyle and, Friday. And what happened with that, we, we created a relationship, a bond, mm-hmm. and... And, and you know, and from there, history was made. And we, he had a, uh, he had a, a platform called Blaze the Stage. Right, right. And right. we, we pretty That's much he gave the stage. He, he pretty much came out to the uh, Bay Area, and we right. did a show. And from there, history. He said, "You take the West Coast." And I'll never forget what he said to me. Uh-huh. He said, 
bro, you're going to be the Barry Gordy of the West Coast. Wow. wow. <laughs> and that was a great year. Speaking, you know, that, that, speaking that thing in, huh? Yeah, yeah. Plus, so it was, it was good. I mean, so. That's, yeah, and then been a lot of places. Been I mean, a lot of places. Coast, been a lot of places. I mean, that's like in different countries and so yeah, forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we like, got another thing coming over. out called uh, Blaze the Nation. So it's going to wow. be really nice. So you're going to take it on the road. We're going to pretty much take it all overseas and everywhere. So it's it's going to be good for a lot of the independent artists. Right. And that's what that's it's cool. all about is, is creating the, right. you know, the buzz for the independent artists because it's not about me. I got a lot of studios and stuff and like that that I work with. And independent is winning. And even the ones it's that are on major labels are going you still got independent. But you still have to, even though uh, be my even being independent, you know, and not having those dollars from the major major labels. You still got to work hard. You got to create your yeah, machine. You, right? yeah, you yeah. might keep most it's, of your money, but you gotta. You still have to invest in that particular machine, right? Yeah, well, when, well, nowadays it's that's what it's about. It's it's these platforms that they have. They they the people. The reason that these platforms are free for these okay. social networks is because of the fact that they get sponsorship dollars. There you right. Go. So there so you the go. more people they get drawn to their sites, they right. automatically you're going to make money. They're optimized. Right. Yes, They're exactly. And, so and so let, let me ask you this, though. monetizing it. Does that... Yes. I, we, we'll get into that, too, as well, because well, exactly. I'm going to A&R for, for Omnia, which is monetizing right. for YouTube. So. Wow. wow. But yeah. let me ask you this. You know does, that, does, that, does, that actually, does that actually take away from the entertainment value? Because now it's all about hits and hits and... Well... Or, or did, you know... You it know could, it, it could. What about... It could. But it, it could. But at the end of the day, we know nowadays mm -hmm. the industry is only about 20% talent. Right, you know what I mean, and wow. all that eighty percent, the, the rest is all the eighty percent is social so, networks, marketing, yeah. as well as you know, as as well as building up a fan base. Exactly. So Putting the people on Jordan's even. shirt, huh? We got Jordan with the hip hop. Let's show that. Those, yeah, those, those, those days oh, are over. Uh, you know what? Let me see. Let me see that shirt again. Stand yeah, up. yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now. If those people were alive, this industry would be a total different way. Yeah. Right now, we, totally that's, a whole that's, a that's a whole different. That's a whole different show. That's a whole different show. Tupac, Biggie, Easy. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. They, that's, you know, I always say, in, in being from Florida and being an East Coast boy and coming out here, I ride around and I've heard stories out in Malibu. I spent a lot of time on the coast, and I like not even racist, but white people's like, man, Tupac used to always be around here, and you know, saying how he was so cool. I'm out in yeah, Malibu. Yeah. This dude telling me, man, I used to see Tupac at the gas station all the time, smoking a Newport. Mm -hmm, He's like mm -hmm. talking to people, and so yeah. I kind of miss that spirit. I wish you know just to have that whole spirit here in LA. Lot, you know what I mean? You, yeah, you you definitely don't don't see that because now everybody is trying to fake it to make it. Right. You know, and at the same time they don't know how to keep it real. Right. And and it's I'm, and don't get me wrong, you got to make yourself look bigger than you are to right. get attraction. People to attract yourself yeah, to that's you a lot, as lot an lot artist. Yeah. But at the same time, you still got to keep it real to yourself. Okay. Yes, sir. Hey, you got to put that work in. You know, and in the independent. I, I want to say because I seen you all over the BET Award, the BET Experience, man, uh -huh. and I want to say I've been going on the last couple years and this year since they brought it inside man it was amazing like I was I had so much it fun at this actually hey, yeah, this dude was... right here man he was everywhere to slam the <laughs> dance contest and I'm saying next year I'm really looking forward to bringing family and friends out and saying yeah, you know and what? I'm looking forward to being blast. a part of that I want to do and, host and, and, and of something do, man yeah, we can we I, I look at it like I this. hear some partnerships coming yeah, on I, I, I hear that too because at the, end of, at the end of the day like like the RMC radio right they, you know the whole network they're doing a great job uh -huh. yeah. you know with helping getting a lot in of people independent I mean, independent people to give them a platform yeah, right. so we could do something like that call in some artists and we can maybe pick some artists from here right. if they you know freestyling or something that like that I mean those good. are kind of things that I like to do and right. create the platforms but when it comes to the BT experience right and um, we started out there outside, which Man. was burning up. It was Ooh. hot. Ten brothers in a Volkswagen out there. <laughs> oh, I'm we, talking we about. Know that. I was going to say 17 Mexicans in the woods <laughs> talking back then. Then I'll be. Well, yeah. But yeah, it was and 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 um, what happened is out there we only had like like about I think it was about three three to four sponsors that year. Wow. And this year we had like 19 to 20 sponsors. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it made it's it great. a lot easier to bring it inside and and to be a free event. Wow. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. We had over 100,000 people. I got the first time to be able to produce. My own show, which was called the Lyrics Lounge, right, we, right, right. You know what I mean. So that was a good thing for a lot of the artists. Next year it's going to be bigger, okay. but this year it was it was really it was really really good for a lot of independent artists. We because I yes. picked a lot of the artists for the Coca Cola stage, right? We picked the the uh, me and my par partner produced the show for the Sprite Court. That was wow, one of the man. biggest dance Dude, let competitions me tell you something. ever. Oh, hey, hold on, I'm going to go. Hold on. <laughs> oh, see, oh, you what? got him started. Now what? there he is. Yeah, yeah. But, hey, y'all should boy. Hold on, y'all yeah. should boy. Ooh. <laughs> it was. It was, it was definitely Let me tell you something It was hot But look 
I was so hyped be, be my just like the celebrities everybody was cool you could get, just take pictures and look for free you got Seven Streeter exactly. you got Western Boys uh, 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 Ray, uh, Ray Sherman Ray Sherman you got, and, you got and what's crazy about that the problem Ray, Ray started with Ray and Sherman and the boys they started with us they were called the Straight Boys okay. back in right. the days there was three right. of them and they were we put them on BET from a blazer stage you know and what? you know we, we helped launch a lot of platforms for these independent wow. artists that are making money today right. all we yeah. ask is that it's your due diligence to give back to these independent artists that are trying to make it to where you are today. There you wow, go. wow. Reach right, back. Right, right. That's right. That's right. Help another. Yeah. Hey, and so I still watch the interview with me and you. Exactly. Uh, yeah, what that you did with us. Yeah, I still stop the repost that Stop it, man. That Stop the Violence. Yeah, right. that was great. Yeah. So we looking, we're definitely looking forward to seeing what you guys got next year. And look, man, I'm crazy. I would love to host a little something. Man, I well, mean, you know what we're going to try to do? Ready. You know what? We, I'm going to get you ready for the yeah, spring is. classic that we do at Venice Beach. Oh, I'm ready. I'm, I'm the man at Venice yeah, Beach. He, he I'm loves that. Venice Beach. I'm the man at Venice Beach. Okay, so you get ready for that because we do that once a year. For we had over a hundred artists this year okay. that we went through, and it was it's it's going to be a great event as well. So make sure you you know right. you stay in I touch with me. See if we can do some registration for the RMC also because we've been we've been talking about doing that with Crystal Wells and and uh, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want, I'm, man, so I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to trying to trying to do something like come on this show as a, as a regular, you know, and hey, help give out that independent too, right. that, that independent. I mean, I live right up the street, man. I mean, let's try to work something out because it's all about giving that knowledge. And not only that, I'm going to say this. You know, some people have a good spirit. And, you know, when you're out and about in L.A., what people really don't realize about Hollywood is it seems big when you're outside. But it's a small community. And and you really can start running into the same people. Although this is a humongous city. I mean, 10 million people in this. But but I'm saying how you find out who's who's really in the circle. Right. And and I I can say this. Uh, B Mike man, I you you I I've been seeing you around out and about. I see you consistently over the few years I've been here, and you got a good spirit Keyword, and an aura. Consistent. You got an aura about you, and you, this man looked like he's somebody. And when you see him, you like even at BT Awards, I saw you. I remember you at the experience you had on oh, your New no. York hat with yeah, your glasses, exactly. your chain. You know what I'm saying? No one a obviously, leader. yeah, most definitely. Obviously, yeah, exactly. you you who a leader yeah. is. He's a leader. So you got a good spirit, and I wish you well. Hey, if you could like give a carrot, a word, of advice to people out there listening about the entertainment or just getting on your hustle okay we got two minutes what getting on your hustle or whether it's you know going after your dreams not just the entertainment business but well it's uh, it's all it's i mean regardless of what you do in life you you're definitely going to have have to put a team together you know even with the relationship it's still a team you know what i mean so it's like in life in life skills itself no matter what you do, it's still going to take a team. And you got to have people that share your vision in order for it to become a reality. There it right. is. So that's team just what work it is. Makes, makes a, a dream, dream work. work. That's right. Hey, you know? B. Mike, I'm going to put you on the spot I real quick. That. Comment on Ray Rice. What you think? You know what? I, on the Ray Rice situation. He just did that. On the Ray Rice situation. On the way out at that. No, that's right, fine. On the Ray Rice, Rice situation, I, me personally, I never... I, any man that puts his hands on a woman is less of a man to me. Amen. You know what I mean? Give so him a clap for that. What it is. Right. Stop the violence and use your talents. Most definitely, most you know? definitely. And I agree with B. Hey, well, hey, we appreciate you for being on I agree with B. Mike on Look. this. We hey, appreciate them for man, being Man, keep your hands out the women, especially now they frying that, that good right. chicken and cooking the collard greens and cornbread, making them pizzas <laughs> and quiche, and y'all fight. I mean, we got all kind of people look at you know wanting to make just a, a quarter of what he's making, and, and you you ruin it like that. It's yeah. like now now both you guys yeah, are in they, a situation. They both lost. Yeah, they you, both you're lost. in a situation that you could have prevented. They got to write a book or something now. Yeah, well, keep your hands. I, 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 I say show. you know I, I say it like this you know if if you don't if you don't keep your hands to yourself then it's always a consequence with everything that comes. In life, that's just what it is. Amen. We're gonna leave it in that. I want to apologize. Stay on your grussel. Stay on your grind and hustle. Hey, what's the grussel? Grind and hustle. That's new. Hey, hashtag grussel, right? That's what it is. Grind and hustle. Hey, this has been a. Like a real good show, and again, I look if I offended anybody, Jordan, my home girl from Venice Beach, shout out. Yeah, LA Keys. you went a little overboard. Shout out to Jordan with the backwards little, I, I love it. I love it. That's hey, show Brandy. that she got on a Beyonce hat. She ain't white. Hey, you know what? She got on a you Beyonce hat or rat. Show that. Do you guys realize why that B is backwards? No, it's why is that? When you're taking a selfie, it's, it becomes forward. Oh wow! Look at that. You didn't hey, know that. I didn't huh? know that. Oh. You know what? That's oh. that ghettoology. Right That's there, what it boy. is. There's a You learned something today. Hey, show that. We're going to go out on that B one time for the B. And, uh, yo, Be man. useful and never give in. Stop the violence of your talents. That's what's up, radio show. We hey, appreciate we you. We love y'all. Uh, BT Experience next year, 2015. Boy, B-Mike y'all Rob, watch. Thank you for coming through. Most Don't definitely. believe me, appreciate just you. watch. It's going to be the last hey, time. God is good, man. Keep the faith, man. We'll see y'all. Holla at your boy, Ball Peanut. Shout out to Pitbull, Energy Drain, Roscoe, Boy Chicken, Peanut, and Wobble. They're going to learn. And shout out to the sexy ladies. I'm single. They're going to learn today about these Ball Peanuts. That's what's up. <laughs>